guys, this is Donna back from Donna Gills Designs and in today's video I am going to be continuing my freshie series and show you how I make my vent clips. Depending on the size of them I make them two different ways so of course I'm going to show you both ways. Everything I use in today's video will be linked down in the description below along with my links to my social media in case you want to follow me there and a link to my website if you want to check out my shop. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so I'm going to show you how I do my fresh event clips. I do them two different ways depending on the size of them. So for this rose mold, it's a bigger mold. Um, so I have already presented my beads. If you don't know how to do that, I'll link my um, intro to freshy video in the description below and what I like to do is I like to fill my molds first before I color them so I don't waste any beads before I put my color in it so I poured them back in the Ziploc bag and I'm putting some mica powder in it takes a very little bit of mica powder to do this once I get it all mixed up really good what I'll do is I will pour that back in with the exception for the, this one this one I decided to put a tiny bit of glitter in it as well to just to give it a little bit of sparkle um, so once that's all mixed good we're going to pour it back into our molds and then they'll be ready to go in the oven I baked these separately reason being because of the size of them so obviously it will not take as long for these small hearts to bake like like the big rose here so for the rose one um and my main um freshy tempers i usually do is 325 um and i check it 10 minutes and even if they're not done i will um put it back in and check it at, at one minute intervals your oven may be different so what i suggest you doing if you're starting out do one freshy at a time just so you can see what temperature and time wise that works for your oven okay for the little ones i did at 300 and i think they took between like five and eight minutes because i had to keep checking it i like to put my finger when they come out if those beads come up with you when you pull your finger up they are not ready they need to go back in the oven if they don't then they're ready so for the big rows here i just put vent clips i put them in when they're hot when they come out of the oven and it'll melt around that vent clip and they're super strong when you do that with all of my freshies i do take a silicone brush and go around the sides and this way there's less pokey bullets uh pokey bits um to trim when they are cooled off i should have i usually take a wet paper towel when mine come out to push them down so they're even but i forgot to do that so i did do that afterwards um i forgot to videotape the rows to show i mean the small hearts to show you how i put my hooks on so what i do is i take that eye hook i hold it with a pair of pliers i heat it up with my candle lighter and it goes right in smooth as butter guys i promise and then that's once that is dry uh, not dry once that's you know i let it sit for a few minutes and then i put some gorilla go around the eye hook just as an extra security measure um, to make sure it's good and strong once that glue is dry i will go back and string up that um i mean not string up it's not a hanging freshie i will go ahead and i have a vent clip that has a hook on it you just put that in and you and you just hang it on the hook hope you enjoyed today's video guys and i'll see you in the next one